and we have the ID Tech X show. Hi. Hi. So who are you? Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm from Karl Mayer. We're a textile machine producer from Germany. And, and you make many, a lot of clothes, right? Actually, we make the machines that do the clothes. So we have warp knitting machinery, and that machines can do lots of different textiles. So we have here our fabrics that are more for sports. We also have fabrics that are more for lingerie, um, but also shoe fabrics are made on our machines and lots of different applications. And here, the ID Tech X show, what do you show? Well, on that different technologies that we have been developing on our machines, we can also integrate conductive material into our products. So this shirt has been developed with a um, technology called string bar technology. So the fabric is produced and during the production process, we place different conductive materials. So in that case, we used silver plated materials, copper wires, but also a copper and constantane wire and form different sensors here. So we have electrodes that take an ECG from the body. Um, then we have a wire that transport that kind of signal. We have a moisture sensor with two parallel conductors and also in here with the copper and constantane they combine for a thermocouple. So is this in the, in the machine you just add this stuff? Yes, it, um, you have a ground structure in the machine and while that ground structure, where the, the, all those threads are producing the ground structure, you place those additional materials directly in one process. So do you have to change the machine a lot or you just change what goes in the machine? Basically just what goes into the machine. Um, then of course those yarns behave a little different than what uh, textile people are used to. Um, it's just small modifications uh, because of the run-in. And, and this is a video showing how it can be used? Yes, exactly. We have a small making of here which can also be sh um, viewed at our uh, website which is textilecircuit.com. Textile circuit. That's yes. pretty. That's going to be huge, right? Because yeah, uh, smart clothing is the next iPhone. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Everybody is wearing clothes. Hopefully. All the time. And then, <laughs> and then uh, it better be smart. You don't want to yeah. have stupid clothes, right? Exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah, we call it textile circuit because you know, with all those printed circuit board you have actually a, a textile circuit board but you don't even have a board anymore you don't need the board it's all the textile itself so that's why we chose that name and hopefully that's the future of of the e-textile world <laughs> and uh, a lot of more stuff this is early or how far how much more you can do oh we have done several things also we have another Another concept here over there, we have done with the same technology also in one step that kind of coil structure that generates an electromagnetic field. So that circle in the middle is connected and when I put my phone on it, it charges. So you do wireless charging clothes? Well, it doesn't textile. have to be close. You can use that for uh, all sorts of applications. There's a lot of textile in the automotive interior where, where it can be used also in furniture, backpacks, but of course also clothes. It's possible that this can have fast charging in there or it might be slow? Well, that depends on, on the charger itself. So that is, that is our, only our first product we did here. So you, you could increase the capabilities, of, of course. Nice. And around here you have um, some other stuff happening um, right here with the, this is the shoe. And, and uh, hi. Hi. So who are you? So I'm Michael. I'm working also for Karl Mayer Textile Machinery. And so we presented here our Rapid Textile. And so this is the combination between a textile machinery and a 3D printer. So this is a 3D printing? What do you 3D print? So, uh, so we print here the screen lines directly during running the machine directly on the fabric. So we have here a system which we use the pretension from our yarns or from the fabric on the machine and print on it with a an, with an silicon system. And after relaxing of the fabric, the silicon stays stick and stiff and the uh, textile relax and then it uh, goes in the next dimension and forms the, the shape of the shoe, for example. So what is 
what is a good idea about doing that? It just looks cool or something uh, could be useful about it? It looks cool and this is a good combination uh, to bring it the textile in the next dimension for an engineered uh, textile to create a shoe, to create a brass holder or such things like this. What is that? So this is an experiment how to use such a system uh, in a textile. It means it makes it stiff. Make it stiff? Yes. Or so you can create like, like this one, a wafer, or these are only experiments which we have, we, we have done directly on the machine. Do you think there's going to be a lot of 3D printing happening in the future for I think so, I think so. It will be a very good combination, especially if you think at the shoe industry, so you can print directly some brand names, logos, or your own name directly on the shoe during the textile production. It makes it very flexible and easy for the production. Cool.